Okay. What's up? How you doing today? Let us begin. Hope you're having a good day. From the God in me to the God in you, let's make sure we get clear messages from source from you to me. Let us be. First card you got was the tower. So, there's probably a lot of things going on in your life right now that seem to be falling apart, coming down. Unexpected things may be happening in your life, things that you didn't foresee, things that you have absolutely no control over. And if you are trying to control these things, the Tower Court is trying to tell you release control because the Tower Court is a good card because it comes and moves things out the way so you can have new things come into your world. Also, if we read this card mentally, it's saying that your thoughts, the things that you think about, the way that you think, that's also changing. That's also being tore down so you can build a new tower. And that's a major arcana card, so that's a big thing for you right now. But keep the faith. Don't the tower moment, don't let the tower moment um throw you off or make you feel like you're doing something wrong. Or make you feel like you're losing control because you're not. The tower card is a divine card, it's divine intervention. So whatever is happening, whether it's um externally or whether it's mentally, let it happen. You also have, the next card you have is the Ace of Swords. So this means that you do have, you are thinking positive. So start to think positive. I mean, keep thinking positive. If you haven't been thinking positive, that's what the Tower card is doing. It's trying to get you to start thinking positive. Because our positive thoughts are what thoughts are what create our reality. Our thoughts, our feelings, and our imagination is what creates our reality. So you want to think positive. You know, whenever you catch yourself thinking negative, reverse it. So for example, if you have a thought in your head, let's say you um you was just thinking like, oh, I ain't, uh, that might be too hard for me to do, or I don't know if, if I can actually do that, you know. In instead of saying that, say, I can do this, you know. Think positive all the time and keep expanding your mind, keep getting that enlightenment, you know what I'm saying, keep growing mentally. Ace of Swords, that's what the Ace of Swords Want you to know. And then you have the Seven of Cups right behind that. So, in the order that this is in, 
the tower, the ace of swords, and then the seven of cups coming out. That may, to me, it's it, it's like you have a lot of um, things you're thinking about. You have a lot of options. And you also have, like your feelings may be creating illusions, making it hard for you to choose things because you're trying to choose things based off your feelings. So don't try to, you know, you want to be logical and rational. And you want to be in tune and in touch with your emotions, but don't let your emotions run you. Don't let your emotions run your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Be in tune with your emotions, but don't let them run your thoughts. The Seven of Cups also is a card that says, like I said, it could be some illusions going on. Whether that's you or people around you or, or places or things in your life that's influencing you to see things, you know, through the rose-colored glasses. And you want to be more, like I said, think positive. And then make a choice because when you're thinking positive, you will most likely make better choices, good choices, because you won't be so, your emotions won't be influencing you to make choices. You know what I'm saying? So take your time and, and think positive and let that tower moment play out so you can get to the point where you say, okay, I, I know what I want to choose now. I know what choice I want to make now. You know, whatever that is. You know, it's like the song, my mind playing tricks on me. <laughs> but, you know, your mind not playing tricks on you. It's just that we come from an era where we weren't taught how to think positive. You know, it's, it's so, everybody is so negative. You know, people think the worst of everything. People think somebody ought to get them or somebody ought to hurt them or they think they need to be on guard so much. And you don't. All you have to do is think positive. And I know that sounds cliche, but it's true. You know, like they say in the Bible, a man is what he think of. I'm not a religious person anymore, but I still like to go and read scriptures in the Bible because some of that stuff in there is very beneficial to us if we can read between the lines and don't get lost in the God and the sky and the Jesus being the only Messiah type of thing you know because the truth is the God is within us God lives within us and the story of Jesus is a story about us showing us how to get closer to God. Now let's see what we got next. We got three of them came out. Let's see, let's see what we pulled. Five of swords, see? You're thinking too uh, much. You, you're thinking... I don't want to say you're thinking negative because you have the Ace of Swords upright, which is a very good sign, very good message. So I don't want to say you're thinking positive. I, I want to say maybe you need to slow down. You need to slow your thoughts down. You know, silence your mind and don't let your emotions influence your decision making. also have the knight of swords see i was just saying you, you probably need to slow down a little bit because it's like your your mind is racing it's like you're like oh what should i do what should i choose which way should i go you know <laughs> so slow down quiet the mind and to quiet the mind is basically to just be still you know, be still like when you when you get off of work and you go home and you get ready to get ready for bed. 
take your rest, you know. Just be still, you know. Put the phone down, turn the music off. Um, if you have people around you, like if you live with somebody or you um, got children, things like that, when they go to sleep, that's your time to rest. Rest your mind. Let your mind rest. You know what I'm saying? So don't let your mind just keep going. So what's going to happen is when you start to rest your mind, you go home, you get comfortable, and you just relax. Relax your body, and then let your mind rest. So when you do, this is what's going to happen. Your mind going to still be doing like this. But after a while, just sit there. Close your eyes. Breathe. And remember, think positive. Even though your mind might be saying all kind of negative stuff. <laughs> just... Keep thinking positive and be still and rest and you will notice how your mind starts to slow down. And when your mind starts to slow down, you can pinpoint where you thinking negative at. You can pinpoint where you need to focus more. Like you like, oh, okay, now you're gonna get it. You're like, oh, okay, now I see what I see what now I see what's what could be a good choice. You know what I'm saying? And then you have the Three of Cups in reverse. Now, the Three of Cups is a card of um, relationships, um, friendships. The Three of Cups is also a cup of a card of love. It's also a card for relationships, as in um, romantic relationships, but it also could be family and friend relationships too. It also could be work. It could be anything, but it's most likely tied to your emotions. So it could mean that you you probably need to work on relationships. You know, reconcile relationships. Um, it might be people in your life who you feel like. Y'all could do better. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you might feel like... It might be really burdening you emotionally, which is causing you to... Instead of thinking with your um, logical, rational mind, which the Ace of, Court, Ace of Swords wants you to continue to do is think positive. Keep pushing up, you know what I'm saying? Keep going up, because I see you. I see you trying to stay positive. Keep trying to stay positive. Um, don't let your emotions influence your decisions and your actions. Unless it's healthy emotions, of course. And don't let people... Don't let people's other people's negative emotions and feelings make you think a negative. You know what I'm saying? Or act negative. Or say, speak negative things. Speak positive things no matter what. Even if somebody is like trying to really, you know, do you in or trying to um, emotionally abuse you or trying to verbally abuse you, like you keep thinking, you keep speaking positive. Because when we speak positive, that, that don't that don't do nothing but bring us good things. That's why we speak positive because of the power of the tongue. That's once again back to the Bible. <laughs> the power of the tongue. So you want to speak positive because our words have power. You know, the things we say come to life. Like when God created the world, what did He say? He spoke. So we have power in our words. So speak positive of everybody, even yourself. Even people who are trying to do you wrong. Even people who are trying to hurt you and and make it seem like you just so bad and you just, you know, you know how some people just try to make it seem like you just the worst person they ever met. And you know you're not. Just speak positive. Continue to speak positive and continue to feel positive even if they don't seem to want to participate in that with you. you. You keep thriving. 
So we're gonna get one more of these out, and then we're gonna move to the oracle cards, and then we're gonna get some cat advice. Well, I ain't gonna say one more. Whatever come out, that's 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 what we gonna roll with. But this is gonna be the last drop for the tarot because I don't wanna overdo it, and I feel like I'm touching on what needs to be touched on. So let's go. Mm -hmm. We got, what we got? We got some more. We got any more spirit? We got any more guy? Any more to come out? Any more messages that, that he needs to hear? Do we have any more messages that he needs to hear? There we go. And then you got the nine of wands. Which the nine represents completion, wholeness, the ending of a cycle. So whatever you're going through, this the end. You at the end. So all you gotta do is keep pushing, and you might feel bored. You might feel lonely. You might you might not feel pleasurable. So pleasurable right now, but that's okay. Keep pushing. This the end. Protect your mind. Guard your mind. Don't let nobody interfere with your positive thoughts, feelings, and imagination. Look good, feel good, smell good. Think positive, speak positive, feel positive. Guard your mind all the time and keep being enlightened and keep doing what you're doing because you there. You right here. Once you get through this, you're going to move on to the next cycle. See, that's why we started off with the uh, the tower cord, and we ended off with the nine of wands. And this, this, this is my, how you be feeling right now. Just how, see, how, see how she look? <laughs> you might be feeling just like that. Like, oh, I'm just, I'm just over it, you know. <laughs> you tried. Did the best you could. Keep going. Don't give up. Continue to think positive. Continue to be positive. Continue to do positive. Speak positive. Now let's get some oracle cards. Get you a couple oracle cards. See what type of advice the oracle cards have for you. Then we're going to see what the cat got to say. he need before we end this video. From the guide in me to the guide within you, we're going to make sure you get what you need. in the sky. You know, we come from a generation where we went to church and our grandmas and grandpas told us that God was in the sky. God not in the sky. God is in us. Church, if you are the church, you are the temple. Wherever you go, God go. Sweetest, kindest, most loving person. You could be, you could be awesome. Somebody still gonna try to make it seem like you just, like you just so terrible. <laughs> you sitting there like, what? Why? Why you feel like I'm so bad? Like I'm not. That's the, that's their own negative mind. Don't get caught up in that. Speak positive because what, what you speak, you get back. That's why you don't speak negative of other people, even if they speak negative of you. Even if people talk bad about you, don't talk bad back to them. You know, don't take it personal with no love loss. 
I don't know who these people are. They could be family, they could be friends, they could be lovers, they could be uh, co-workers. Sometimes it be our own children. When they grow up, though, I ain't talking about the babies, you know. I ain't talking about the young ones. I'm talking about the 30-year-old the kids. <laughs> the 20-year-old kid, I don't know about that. I ain't talking about the young people. The young people get a pass because they still learning. They still experiencing life, and they've been bombarded with their parents' nonsense as well. So they they got to get through that stuff, just like we are right now. We we breaking all those chains, we breaking all those negative cycles we've been through, and, and talk. And that's okay. I forgive my parents because they didn't know. You know what I'm saying? They just was doing the best they could do. They didn't know. So it's no love loss. Don't take it personal. Release with love. You know, because the guy lives in them too, whether they know it or not. The only difference is some of us know and some of us don't know. That's the only difference. But we all have we all have God inside of us. Even people who appear to be the devil. They got God in them too. Just, they just ain't using that side. They they on the other side right now. That's all. We got you. We got you. God got you. So this is what we got for you. We got abundance. Abundance. We have abundance. You have abundance. Expect the unexpected. But you see, you see that picture. So whatever this unexpected is, is a good thing. Look at the love. Look at the compassion on that picture. They not fighting. They not arguing. They showing each other love. They, you know. So expect the unexpected. Expect something good to unexpected to happen to you and for you. Acceptance. Accept it. You know. We have. We just gotta accept it, man. I know we don't want. Sometimes we don't want to. We try to hold on to things that we need to let go of sometimes. We just have to accept the truth and move on. And that's going to give you wisdom. So you keep going. Keep your head up. Don't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. No matter what. Because that's all we got in this life, man. You know what I'm saying? You got two choices. You can live a good life or you can live a sad life. The choice is yours. And there's a lot of people around here who, they even, even if they're not trying to, on purpose, they're going to try to bring all kind of sadness into your life. But like I always say, some people just hurt me. And, and they don't want to deal with it. Everybody doesn't go to seek healing. Some people don't even think they need healing. They think they fine. They think there's everything okay. And you can clearly see that they need healing, but in their eyes, it ain't nothing wrong with them. That's why we got us. We have to accept that. That's it. Okay, God, let me get one of these cats. So we can be out of here. We got you. Got you. Two cats. We got the nuisance, <laughs> which says... Never be afraid to change your mind, but always change your underwear. That's a joke, but you, you get the point. The cat grass is always greener on the other side. Going out is the new stand in, and vice versa. You got CC the cat. And CC the cat says... To your own self be true. Repetition makes perfect. Don't be afraid to copy. Imitation is the censorious form of cattery. <laughs> but I like this one. It said repetition makes perfect. And you know, I'm always talking about affirmation. So when you go home tonight, that's probably why this card came up to remind me to, to tell you. Do your affirmations. Speak what you want. Say I am and put whatever you 